Hello, in this class we will see how to interact with our model. There are three ways in which we will be able to play with our model. We can translate, we can rotate or we can zoom in and out of our model. For this we can either use keyboard and mouse or we can use few control options. Let's start with keyboard and mouse. Now to rotate our model, press and hold control button on your keyboard and simultaneously press and hold left mouse button and move your mouse to rotate our model. By default, model will get rotated about a screen center shown by a rectangular white shape. To change the rotation center, press and hold control button on your keyboard. Then press left mouse button at the point about which you want to rotate and then again you can rotate your model. Again, for example, suppose I want to rotate my model about this point. Then let me zoom in at that point. Press and hold control mouse button and first left click and release the left click. You can see a rectangular white box will basically appear and then you can rotate your model about that point. Now again, suppose I want to rotate my model about the screen center. Then you can simply press and hold control mouse button and in the graphics window, you can click anywhere so that rotation center will again get shifted to the original position or we can say a center of a screen. To pan or translate, you can press and hold control mouse button on your keyboard and simultaneously press and hold right mouse button and move your mouse so that model will get pan or it will get translated from one position to another. If you want to zoom in or out of the model, then you can again press and hold control mouse button and using the middle mouse button, you can scroll up or down in order to zoom in and out of the box. Now we will see how to use view control option. Now first thing we have is zoom in and zoom out. So first let me click on this icon. Now if I click with the left button, it will get zoomed in. And if I click with the right button, then it will get zoom out. Even if you move your cursor over this icon, you can see a pop up view will occur and within that it is saying if I press left mouse button it is going to zoom in and if I press right mouse button then it is going to zoom out. The problem with this button is that you cannot zoom in at particular location. For example, if I want to zoom in at this location, I will not be able to do it by using this command. You have to go with the control button using the keyboards. Second thing we have is dynamic zoom. So basically first thing here if I click on left mouse button in the graphics window I just have to draw any irregular shape now within that shape only it will get zoomed in for example I want to see this region properly so I have to zoom in let me just click and draw a circle you have to press and hold left mouse button and circle will get drawn or any shape will get drawn and at that region only it will get zoomed in now suppose i want to get zoomed out of this but there is no option for that again i can simply press f on my keyboard shortcut for fit to model now second thing we have is the dynamic zoom now dynamic zoom is very interesting what i have to do is press right click now once the a command is activated in the graphics window you have to press left mouse button and just drag up and down so you have to press and hold left mouse button so you can see a zoom in and zoom out will occur at the dynamic manner but again problem with this is you cannot zoom in or out at the particular location it will be with the help of screen center only so let me again press F to fit my model first let me press escape to come out of the command and then you can press F button with the help of this, you will be able to rotate your model. So if I press left mouse button and if I come in graphics window, then press and hold left mouse button again and you can just move your mouse so that it will get rotated. Now similar to that, we have something called as a dynamic zoom. So you have to press right mouse button, come to the graphics window and just press and hold left mouse button. So you can see it is automatically moving your model. I'm not even moving my mouse. If I'm just pressing and holding the left mouse button, it will get moved or it will get rotated. It's very seamless motion. Now second thing, again, let me press F button. Let me come out of the command. Now this option is called basically pan. So left mouse button and come to the graphics window. Using the left mouse button, you can just pan or you can basically translate. Next thing we have is rotation left right. So if I click on using left mouse button, it will get rotated left wise or you can say clockwise. If I press on right mouse button, it will get rotated like this. If I have to rotate up and down, if you have to press 
left mouse button for up and right mouse button for down. Similarly, you can rotate it in the clockwise and anti-clockwise direction also. So in order to rotate clockwise, you have to press left mouse button. You have to continuously press it. And in order to rotate anti-clockwise, you have to press right mouse button. So in this way, this view control option will work. In next class, we will see what are the importance of the standard views.